everyone, Kaylee here. So today I'm doing the I Heart Spring tag. I was tagged by my friend Ingrid or Miss Glamorazzi here on YouTube and I thought it was an adorable tag and I never do tag videos so I thought it would be fun to kind of mix it up a little bit and do this for my wild card video this week. Hopefully this is kind of fun to watch and I got all springy. I put on all like my bright lipstick and very springy attire even though it's so cold outside. I want it to be spring and so I am willing it with my wardrobe to be so. My favorite spring nail polish is Butter London Sprog, and it's this periwinkle color. I wish I had it on my nails right now, but it is so pretty. This was my color from like ages 10 to 14. Every clothing item I bought and like little journal to write in and pen and you know like the little gel pens that used to be a big thing. Like comment below if you remember those, but um, everything, this color. I just love this like periwinkle color or light blue, but this was definitely like my signature color for a really long time and now that it's almost 10 years later I guess I'm ready to go back to it. I just think it's really pretty. I love how it looks on and it's one of those colors that when I look at it, it just kind of makes me happy. So this is my favorite one for spring. Side note, I always get these polishes when they're on sale, like when they go on sale on Butter London's website or when they're on sale at Ulta because then they're actually like the price of a normal nail polish. I don't know if I could spend like the full price on these but I always love their shade selection so I end up getting like it trapped by them every time there's a sale. And I picked three because it's my video and I can do what I want. Um, I chose one bright lipstick color. You guys know I love bright statement lips. It's the one I'm wearing right now. And it's Vibrant Mandarin by Maybelline in their Vivids collection. I really love it. I love that it's like a very warm orangey red so that it's a little bit different, a little bit more statementy than your average red. But it's not so crazy and out there that people look at you like you're absolutely insane. Two lipsticks, I picked a high-end and a drugstore one. My high-end favorite, you guys have already seen this before, is Marshmallow Bunny by Too Faced. It's called Pink Lemonade and it's just a really pretty peachy pink which is really easy to wear. I used to mix um, strawberry shortcake and creamsicle together to make this color, so I'm glad that I can just use this one and it's kind of perfect on its own. So I haven't really gone spring shopping yet, so I don't have a favorite like new spring dress, but my favorite one from last year was this um, dress. It's a maxi dress and the top is like this white tank top, just really flowy white fabric, and then the whole rest of it is this minty teal color and it's just really really light and flowy. I mean this is like cotton right here, it's really breathable and then obviously this top is really light and airy and I just loved it because I could dress it up and dress it down, I could wear it anywhere I wanted and it was so breezy and cool because sometimes maxi dresses, especially in the summer, can be really really hot and especially if you live somewhere where there's a lot of humidity I feel so this was really great because it was really breezy and it was really easy to wear. Now, if you guys have been following me for a little while, you know I'm not really a flower person, but if I had to pick, it would be peonies, and I'm going to have this picture for you guys because I'm not a flower person, so sometimes people will tell me what their favorite flower is, and I'm like, yay? Like, I don't know what it is, so I feel really awkward. I'm like, yeah, they're really pretty. I like how their colors look. Any of you guys have the same problem that I do, come on, there we go. This is what it looks like. My favorite spring accessory is actually this necklace that I'm wearing. I got it on sale from J. Crew. Now I never buy things from J. Crew because they're kind of out of my price point. Um, and this was on sale for $20, which is still a little bit more than I usually spend on necklaces, but it was so pretty, I had to. Um, I love these like gym necklaces that are really in trend this year. I just I think they're so pretty, they're great, like statement, very feminine thing to go with, and they're kind of like a throwback to old Hollywood for me, which I really love. I don't know what it is. I think it's because I grew up watching mu movie musicals, and I just really imbibed a love for old Hollywood, and so things like this make me really happy. Um, but I just love that it's so feminine and statementy, but easy to dress up or dress down. I can do whatever I want with it, so that's one of the things I really like about this, because if you're going to spend money on something, you want to be able to wear it a lot, so that's why... I picked this one out because I knew I would wear it like crazy. I'm going to answer this question from like a makeup and hair perspective just because I feel a little bit more qualified for that than I do for fashion. Um, I think with both what I'm really excited about is kind of the move toward looking a lot more naturally pretty. Um, I, I just really appreciate that. That's something that I've always gone for when I do my makeup or when I do other people's makeup is that I still want to look like me and I still want other people to look like them. I just want to play up you know, my features that I like and that I want other people to notice, like my eyes or skin or cheekbones or lips or whatever it is on people. Um, and so it's kind of cool for me that my philosophy of makeup, if you will, 
um, kind of goes with the trend that's in style right now. The makeup, it's all about having your skin look naturally flawless and you know the eyes are a lot more minimal and then you can go with the bold lips to be fun but it is just a lot about having like really beautiful dewy skin and then with hair it's about having like really beautiful healthy natural looking hair even if it takes work you want it at the end of the day to look a little bit more natural which goes along with stuff that I love there too. I really think the hair looks better when it looks like it's natural than when it looks like super fried and crispy. So I do like it better when it's all nice and I don't know, I don't know if this is the best representation of that, but just really nice flowy soft waves and soft hairstyles I think are really beautiful. So I'm really excited for that for spring and I know that's been coming around for a while just fashion in general is moving in that more comfortable direction which makes me happy um, but especially in makeup I'm really glad to see things moving towards a really natural place and with hair I love that as well just because I've always been one to embrace really um, natural hair and even messiness in a hairstyle I think is really great I think the more organic a hairstyle is the prettier it is and so it's just something I'm really really excited for my favorite scents from them are Island Nectar and Honeysuckle. This one I have been burning for about three years, obviously not the same candle, but I've been buying the same candle over and over again and it smells so good. It is sparkling tropical fruits blended with vanilla rum and sensual musk. And citrus and vanilla are my two favorite scents in the entire world, so putting them together in a candle is like amazing. So this really does smell like like you're sitting by the pool and you've ordered like an amazing fruity slushy drink and they brought it to you and this is what it smells like. Like it's amazing, I love it. Honeysuckle is the scent of early spring contained in a blend of sweet honeysuckle, peony, freesia with a touch of creamy vanilla. So we got peonies in there which obviously I like the look of them and apparently like the smell of them too. And honeysuckle and vanilla and I grew up with a lot of honeysuckle around me so it's a very nostalgic scent for me. But I like this, I like that it's a more sophisticated floral scent without being grandma-ish. Um, it's kind of like a nice blend of like a sweet pea and a fresh linen scent and kind of a floral scent. To me, that's what I smell when I smell it. So, I love it. So those are my two favorite candles for spring. For my favorite spring scent, I couldn't just choose one, so I picked two. My first one is Viva La Juicy La Fleur. Um, I said that rather funnily, La Fleur. Um, but it's just a really nice scent. I'm going to link somewhere in the description box that has a description of the scent because I can't describe it very well. It is floral, but again, without being like grandmotherly because I really, I really dislike florals in general, but for some reason, I really, really like this one. I have this little roller ball, and it looks like I haven't used it a lot, but I promise I've used it a ton. And it is Grapefruit Vanilla by La Vanilla. And I've talked about um, La Vanilla before, but I really, really love, I mean, like I said before, citrus and vanilla, and grapefruit is my favorite citrusy scent, and then vanilla is my other favorite scent. So it combines my two favorite things, and it smells really, really good. Because it has the tartness of the grapefruit to kind of offset the creaminess and the warmness of the vanilla, and kind of breaks up the sweetness of the vanilla, so it becomes just a really nice um, scent that you can wear from daytime to nighttime, I really think. Just a wee bit schizophrenic where I live because it will be like on the one hand it's beautiful and sunny and flowers are everywhere like everything is blooming and there's little baby animals like baby birds and all that kind of stuff everywhere and it's adorable and then like torrential downpour happens. Bursts of sunshine followed by a terrible disappointment of rain <laughs> but I really do like it. I, I didn't really set that up very well. I really do like spring in my area just because I do get the beautiful um, springtime and it is good to have the rain because then the pollen doesn't get too bad because I don't do too good with tons of pollen but yep that's that's what it's like around here. I still enjoy it mostly because I enjoy it not being cold anymore. My favorite thing about spring is its metaphorical resonance. I like what it denotes. I like that in nature everything is blooming and coming back to life and we have all this new life in the world with the baby animals that are being born and you know flowers that are blooming and then for us, everybody's kind of cleaning things out and getting ready to the old and starting again with the new. And I love what all of that kind of denotes. I love that whole sense of rebirth and new life and how vivacious and full of life it is. I think it's just a really beautiful time. It's a really cool time to be alive and just to witness um, things coming back to life and things starting over and new. The whole concept is a great thing to think about and it gives a lot of food for thought during the springtime. It makes me really, really happy. 
Honey, I am a spring cleaner, I am a summer cleaner, I am a between summer and fall cleaner, I am a winter cleaner. I will, at any point that I can, get inside a drawer or a closet and like deep clean and organize and compartmentalize until it looks like it belongs in a magazine. And then I will visit said closet or drawer and just open it and look at it and smile and like pat myself on the back and then, you know, for the next week. Because I love it. I don't know why. And the funny thing is that I love deep cleaning and I love organizing, but I am terrible at keeping it up. <laughs> like, I will get that organization system there and then it will just like descend into chaos and descend into anarchy. And then I have to look at it like months later and I'm like, well, I organized it a couple months ago. I guess I should do it again now. I'm trying once I get all of this set up and all of this organized the way that I want it to to maintain that organizational system. And I'm really, really going to try for it this year. That's like a resolution of mine. I really, really want to do it. Um, so yeah, to short answer, I really went on a tangent there. Yes, I'm a spring cleaner. And hopefully I will maintain that spring cleaning throughout the year this year. That's my goal. We'll see. I actually, I don't really have any big plans. I've had an 80 hour a week schedule for like a year and a half now and basically I'm graduating in like three weeks and just graduating is going to be enough for me like I might travel afterward like I'm kind of thinking about it but I just am really really excited and this is like nerdy I guess and weird but like the thing I'm most excited for is just resting and spending time in my house like on my house and getting it set up spending time with my husband and just being able to rest like that is what I am most excited for. And that has been my I Heart Spring tag. I'm gonna tag some people in the description box, so go down there and see who I tagged. And if you feel like doing this video and I didn't tag you, go ahead and do it anyway and leave it as a video response. I would love to see what your favorite things are for spring. And that's it, I love you guys very much, and I'll see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye.